Well, awesome and amazing day. If you're watching this video, and actually there is no if, you are watching this video, you are probably a scientist, an engineer, or a physician. And I'm a simplifier of complex things, usually. But in this case, I'm gonna get into a little bit more detail so that you can understand the science of intercellular hydration. And so let's just start at the foundation of intercellular hydration. It starts with the cell. And as you can see the difference between a healthy cell and a dehydrated cell, we have a traffic problem here. We have a traffic problem. You notice in an unhealthy cell, all of the toxins and the waste products are trapped inside of that cell. And there's a barrier. The external cellular wall, it is like someone put bricks on the wall. It becomes hard as a marble, I like to say, to give a, a clear visual. What happens when we pour water on a marble? It bounces off. And this is what happens inside the body. The healthy cellular hydration cannot permeate that rock hard, that marble hard wall. And so the healthy hydration is bouncing off. And so are the nutrients that need to get inside of that cell to feed it the healthy nutrients it needs to activate all of those powerful mitochondria which are designed to do so many powerful things inside each and every cell. But when we starve them to death by not giving them the nutrients and the hydration that they need to activate, it just becomes like a nuclear reactor that went dead, that has no power within itself. So the good news is through the protocol, through the scientific sequencing, of the steps that we teach every one of our clients to do, the cellular wall becomes porous like a sponge. And the cellular wall is able to literally open up the natural healthy passageways for the nutrients and that healthy hydration to flow into that cell. And when that happens, hundreds, hundreds, two to 300 mitochondria inside each and every cell turn on, like when you flip the switch of a nuclear power plant and all that energy begins to generate. Just imagine that happening. Just imagine that happening a trillion times in a human body. The energy, the power, the vitality that comes forth by this process. Between the ages of 20 to 70, just through the normal aging process, the porousness of a cell goes from a level 1.1 to a 0.6 to 0.8. In other words, it's like the sponge shrinks up and it doesn't even have the ability to uptake that healthy hydration the way that it is designed to. Through the scientific protocol that we teach, it actually, this is measurable by the way, people have reversed their age. I'm talking about their cellular age of what's happening inside of their body because the cells actually, again, build up to that younger age of porousness and health where they are able to uptake more nutrients and more hydration. And let's go back for a moment to the picture that I just showed you. See where we have the healthy intake of nutrients, the healthy intake of intercellular hydration. Well, in the dehydrated cell, not only are, uh, are there no pathways for the healthy things to get in, but the waste and the toxins are trapped inside. But let's look at the healthy cell again, because the output of a healthy cell, it is an eviction notice to the toxins. It is an eviction notice to the waste products that are in the cell. It literally pushes them out of the cell. 
And scientifically, when waste and toxins are removed from a cell, inflammation leaves the human body. Inflammation is the cause of many pain and diseases in the human body. So you are talking about the positive influx of intercellular hydration, the positive influx of healthy nutrients, and the expulsion and eradication of waste, of toxins, and of inflammation. Let's talk about stress and oxidative stress. Two different types of stress, both horrifically negative to our cellular health. Oxidative stress causes cells to age prematurely, becoming an unhealthy dehydrated cell. Stress itself causes the body to release hormones, negative hormones. When these types of hormones such as cortisol are released into the body, it artificially it artificially and wrongfully goes and takes the healthy hydration. It's like taking a mop and it mops up the healthy hydration to try to deal with these stress hormones that are released. So two types of stress that are released, and by the way, many people believe that, again, most disease can also be linked directly to stress. And it's not technically the mental stress, but the mental stress causes these chemical reactions in our body. And these chemical reactions have to be dealt with because our body's number one objective is to survive. So when we release the stress hormones, the body will take your hydration to first save your life. And so it goes and it has to basically, they're like mini fires all over your body. You have stress hormone fires all over your body and your healthy hydration, which should be used as a nutrient to your cell instead becomes a lifesaver to put out those stress hormone fires. From the time your life began, and when I say began, I mean from the time the sperm, the sperm, when life begins, when that sperm comes together and becomes life, it has the ability to preserve itself, it produces a histamine. That's right, why? Because histamines regulate water. Water itself is life. The earth is mostly water. Look at all of the life inside of water. What causes plants to grow? Water, impossible to have plant life, to have animal life or human life without water. The earth is mostly water. You and I are designed to be mostly water. Women, you should be 55% hydrated. Men should be 60% hydrated. That is the healthy level of hydration of the human body. It is the source of all life is water. Without it, there is no life. Water itself, think about it, H2O, hydrogen, oxygen. Do you know that literally there's oxygen right inside of water? And doesn't it make sense that as you put hydrogen and oxygen in a moist, healthy, hydrating source into your cell, that gives life itself. The medical community takes an oath to do no harm. And I truly believe doctors do the very best. You'll meet many of the doctors on our testimonial videos that have not only helped their patients with our program, but helped themselves and their own families, including my beloved friend, Dr. Ron Durr, a more than 20 year orthopedic surgeon who works with a very large staff of orthopedic surgeons to do well. However, doctors that prescribe a lot of medication, it's not the doctor that has the problem. They're trying to help the client to treat the symptom. But do you know that many of those medications camouflage 
they trick the body into thinking it's okay. For instance, high blood pressure. People that have high blood pressure take a medication and they say, my blood pressure is under control because of my medication. But yet hundreds of thousands of people drop dead every year of a heart attack. Now a million people have heart attacks, but hundreds of thousands drop dead of a heart attack. How many of them are on high blood pressure medication? Most of them are on high blood pressure medication. Why? Because their medication camouflaged what the true source of their problem was. Do you realize that if an artery is supposed to be this big and it gets dehydrated, what does that do to blood pressure? The blood pressure goes up. But through intercellular hydration, the artery is able to expand in a natural way to its healthy and right state of homeostasis, thereby lowering the blood pressure to its normal healthy level. What causes high cholesterol? The same thing. The body gets dehydrated, the artery shrinks up. The body goes into survival mode. It begins to overproduce cholesterol, which is like a slick, slippery substance to help the blood flow through the artery. The body stops over hydration comes into the artery the artery opens up and the body stops overproducing the cholesterol we're actually going to teach you one gentle easy exercise that will exponentially increase your blood flow specifically to your brain do you know that literally the calf is the second heart of the human body and we have a gentle, easy way to help you to increase your blood flow, which do you know that your blood is 94% water. So the more hydration, the more hydration that is in your cells, it's in your blood. And of course, a hydrated blood flow is a smoother blood flow. This also helps your body to actually go and attack the bad, the toxic branch chain amino acids so that you can be at the healthy levels of all the chemicals in your body are designed in a very specific way. And hydration is the foundation of homeostasis in your body. Ready? We're actually gonna teach you the power of salt do you know that sodium is the only nutrient to the human brain? That's right. Good old fashioned salt. Salt is one of the first and most natural electrolytes that you can put into your human body. Do you know that even your bone density is impacted by a healthy, balanced amount of salt, of sodium intake? And a lot of ladies, especially, and men, that have thyroid issues. Do you know there's only one nutrient to your thyroid? Iodine. So the good old fashioned iodized salt is one of the reason when we went away from iodized salt and we all started buying the pink salt, which is totally fine by the way and healthy, but we still need some healthy iodine in some way, shape, or form in our body to help reverse thyroid issues. We're actually going to teach you on our protocol the power of hydration and how it impacts absorption of the foods that you eat and how they break down your foods. There's a reason that people will come up to me when I'm eating a double sausage, double pepperoni pizza and say, how are you doing that when you are Mr. Cellular Health? and Mr. Transformation. Well, because my body has a reset hypothalamus and metabolism, and my body is able to take what is good out of any food. It's like on the Back to the Future movie, Mr. Fusion, you could put anything in there, pull out the good and get rid of the garbage. That's what intercellular hydration will do to your intestines, to your stomach, to your digestive system. That's why the proper balance of hydration, of nutrients, of salt, will literally cause liver function to be at an optimal level. 
and I have to give salt its fair credit. Salt will actually help your body to create hydroelectricity. So when I said it's the only nutrient to the brain, your body is like a huge electrical plant. You have all these electrical signals being sent. Do you know that even 80% of the movement in your body is tied to your brain? If your brain is not functioning the way it should, your body cannot move the way that it's designed to move because of that supercharged hydroelectricity that that salt creates. And salt even helps your body to regulate the blood sugar that you have. And this is one of the reasons that we can promise people that they will reverse blood sugar issues, diabetes issues. We've had people that were 11, 12, 13 in their blood sugar and in 88 days they're at five. Yes, you can take a look at these testimonials on the website, go look at them. Be a beautiful beloved skeptic. But this science is real and you can research and I'm sharing with you what you're gonna learn on your own 88 day transformation journey. So I am going to make an assumption. I'm going to assume that you're like me, that you are a beautiful beloved skeptic. I am a skeptical person, but I'm also willing to research, to review, to go for the truth. I say this to people, I don't care what the truth is. I just wanna know what the truth is. And I wanna share that truth with people. I wanna share truth with you and that's all I'm sharing with you. So for 24 years, all I've done is share the truth with people that has reversed illness, that has caused people as a side effect of getting healthy at the cellular level to metabolize their subcutaneous fat and their visceral fat that has caused their energy to go through the roof, that has caused their mood to change, that has caused men from seven to in their 90s to gain lean muscle. I recently had an NFL football player who he lost 50 pounds of fat in one month. But what was he excited about? He gained 10 pounds of lean muscle after working out for more than 20 years for two to three hours a day. He was blown away that this science, he said, all my life as a professional athlete, no one has taught me these strategies. This science is breakthrough science. So be a beautiful beloved skeptic, but make a decision for yourself to say, hmm, I'm skeptical, but I've heard enough to be decisive and to make a decision. I'm gonna try this. Be as skeptical as you want, but I encourage you, try this, because I'm gonna promise you personally, this will change your life. This science changed my life. It's been 24 years, not one doctor visit. I'm lean, I'm healthy, I'm strong. I go run up and down football stadiums from top to bottom for an hour, rejoicing that I found this breakthrough science, and I'm sharing it with you, and now it's up to you to make a decision. So join me in the journey.